grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning and welcome to Midday with Gray, this special Canada Day edition. Our service is going to be broadcasted as part of our Church Beyond Our Doors outreach ministry on our official YouTube site, the Anglican Parish of the Blue Mountains. Thank you for your interest and your support. Feel free to subscribe. Our service today is a special service of prayer for Canada Day. And let us enter into this time of worship and celebration as we pray. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Make me to know your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Let us praise God through Jesus Christ as we say, You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. The Lord be with you. Let us offer up a prayer for Canada Day. And so we pray. Almighty God, whose wisdom and whose love are over all, accept the prayers that we offer for our nation on this day Give integrity to its citizens and wisdom to those in authority, that harmony and justice may be secured in obedience to your will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now for the proclamation of God's word. Let us begin together in sharing a reading from the Psalms. Today's appointed Psalm uh, comes uh, from the Book of Alternative Services or the Bible. So you can follow along with Psalm 85, verses 7 to 13, either in your own copy of the Bible or on, book, on page 818 of the Book of Alternative Services. Together, let us read. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what the Lord God is saying, for he is speaking peace to his faithful people and to those who turn their hearts to him. Truly his salvation is very near those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed grant prosperity, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and peace shall be a pathway for his feet. Let us pray. God of grace, you love the world so much that you gave your only Son to be our Savior. Help us to rejoice in our salvation by showing mercy and truth, and by walking the ways of righteousness and peace. We ask this in his name and for his sake. Amen. Our next reading comes from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 32, verses 1 to 5 and 16 to 18. Government with justice predicted. See, a king will reign in righteousness, and princes will rule with justice. Each will be like a hiding place from the wind, a covert from the tempest, like streams of water in a dry place, like the shade of a great rock in a weary land. Then the eyes of those who have sight will not be closed, and the ears of those who have hearing will listen. The minds of the rash will have good judgment, and the tongues of stammerers will speak readily and distinctly. A fool will no longer be called noble, nor a villain be said to be honorable. The peace of God's reign. Then justice will dwell in the wilderness, and righteousness abide in the fruitful field. The effect of righteousness will be peace, and the result of righteousness, quietness, and trust forever. My people will abide in a peaceful habitation, in secure dwellings, and in quiet resting places. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And my final reading comes from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John, chapter 15, verses 12 to 17. 
And Jesus shared these words with his disciples. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I've called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I've heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give me whatever you ask in my, to him in my name. I'm giving you these commands so that you may love one another. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'd like to share just a little comment about Canada Day, as found in the text for all the saints, published by the Anglican Church of Canada. Canada Day is a national holiday. It's not a feast of the church. And yet it is right that we as Christians offer prayer and thanksgiving today, because of all the good things that we enjoy as Canadians have their origins as gifts of God. The resources of our land and the oceans which border it, our diversity as Canadian people, the heritage of our national history as colonists, but also as indigenous peoples, although it may be mixed and tumultuous over times, it is our national identity and is the story that we tell. We remember above all things that the church is called to remember and celebrate that all of these gifts have come to us from God's hands. At the same time, we as the people of the church must accept an immense responsibility as citizens of Canada. We believe that divine grace seeks to fulfill what divine purpose has created. We are the servants of God's saving purpose and power. We do not leave the concerns of Canadian society behind us when we enter into our churches. We enter into our churches in order to gain fresh strength for the work of making God's justice, compassion, and wisdom ever present in the life of our nation. On Canada Day, our task is to dedicate ourselves to the mission of bringing all our country's resources, natural and human, within the circle of God's redemptive love in Jesus Christ. And so on this Canada Day, allow me to offer up prayers uh, for our community and for our nation. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for this piece of the world called Canada, a slice of land that is broad and wide, blessed with rivers and great lakes, wide skies and great forests, high mountains and gracious plains, beautiful from sea to sea to sea. Thank you for letting us live in this land, even though we do not own it. This land is your land, which we use in trust for future generations. Thank you for its rich history, which includes the Inuit and the Aboriginal and Métis peoples. We pray for justice and wisdom as we work on difficult and abusive relationships with First Peoples. Thank you for our system of government, for the right to speak freely and to elect our leaders. Thank you for the freedom of religion and the conscience that we employ. Thank you for universal health care and a social safety net, even though not all are caught by it and not all dwell in safety, even in our country. We want a country that is the best that it can be, a home for all, welcoming refugees and newcomers, sharing this wealthy country with the world. On this day, we ask that you would bless our leaders, our Prime Minister, and all of our members of Parliament, guide their steps, and empower us to use our voice to help them as they make difficult and far-reaching decisions. We thank you today for our home and our native land. Thank you for giving us a home here, O oh Lord, where we live in peace and security. God, keep our land, Canada, keep it strong and free. Keep it safe and beautiful for future generations. This we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord our God, grant us grace to desire you with our whole heart, that so desiring we may seek and find you 
and so finding you, we may love you. This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. And together we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May God grant to the world his truth, his justice, and peace. Amen. Thank you for tuning in today on this Canada Day. I hope you have a safety celebrations with your families, wherever they may be. And we pray that going forward, uh, one day we may be able to celebrate with the usual pomp and circumstance. But in this time of COVID pandemic, please be safe and take care of others. Blessings in your week. Amen. <laughs>